calling in who wants to join the show. <laughs> Good luck, Tom and Buttonhead. Bill, help me out with this. Ah, oh, here we go. Now you are. Hey, what's up? I'm Larry, the Tollbooth Collector. <laughs> He seems pretty happy. He likes what he does. You know what? Let's just do this for the regular. Let's do this for the regular show and make the regular show the bonus. No, what are you? What is your name again? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Larry, the toll booth collector. Okay, now Larry, I... your Christian name. Yeah. By the way, those... boy, that for... guess you had on before me. Yeah. I can't top him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He had so many amazing... What an amazing job that guy has. He's like the Dana Carvey of Gum Fridays. But he can do anything. First of all, I don't even think you're a toll collector. I think you work in a parking garage. That's the, the, like Tolls usually are in front of a bridge. You're in front of a bridge. No, no, he's... I on, have a question. Are you on Devo? I have are a you question. in the band Devo? <laughs> all right, but... Uh, but uh, That's probably what they look like now. <laughs> all right, well, okay, hold on, everyone. Why are you sneezing? Oh, sorry, I sneeze when I'm nervous. Aww. <laughs> it's a good character. He's sneezy. They, they, these are terrible characters. Oh, that's a good one. Sneezy. I never, oh, man, that's a T-shirt. I never thought I'd that, say... You know, you're trying to build me up, but that last guy was so good, I, I didn't think it was going to happen. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss Butnerhead. Now, did you have a question for him, Steve Arino? Uh, yes, I'd like to park my car, but I only have a $100 bill. <laughs> would, that, would that be a problem? We've all been there. <laughs> sorry, no bills over 20 Fuck! State law. <laughs> Where am I going to go? <laughs> you know what you do? Go buy bread and milk and, and break the change and then come back with 1995 and see if he lets you slide through. How much, by the way, if, <laughs> don't you have, if there's no bills over 20, like. There's bills over 20. Yeah. one too. There's a bill over 20 in the studio right now. Kick him out. Well over 20. Bill's got. Uh, but I'm a young soul guy. Doesn't have over 20 teeth. You're younger than me, kiddo. All right, so oh, he, I think uh, I think he's relaxed. He hasn't sneezed in three minutes. <laughs> I think he's calmed down. Look, I always we, sneeze when I'm nervous. Look, we're running late, so you got to go right to your you got to go right to your fucking A list. Your closing stuff, man. I have a B as a pet. <laughs> oh, I bet he gets stunned. How's he get stunned? That's stunging. That, like, is it a bumblebee? Uh, uh, it's he just really, a bee. I don't know. Is it just like a grave? He, he really does look nervous. Uh, did you want to? <laughs> did you want to ask him something, Steve? <laughs> you okay, buddy? You look nervous. I'm a little nervous. Okay, so all right. Well, let, let's get to the closer. Tell me about your pet bee. Um. Well, you know. Is that the whole story? Like flies around. Ah! That's what bees do. That's what bees. That's it's awesome. Well, yeah. Give him a chance, Gene. Yeah. You know, Dave had a lot of funny anecdotes and work stories. Dave sucked. You want to uh, flesh out the B character a little more there? I think we got something. Well, there what's we this guy's name? I, what was your name? Larry was, the Tollbooth Collector. Oh, that's right, Larry the Tollbooth. It was in Devo. Now, watch. I'm sure you've seen... Watch this. I'll set you up. This is called Panel in the Biss. Now, now, Larry the Tollbooth, I'm sure you've had some wacky Tollbooth stories. And that's about the size of it. <laughs> ah! That's a T-shirt! I'm going to hang up. Look, Larry... I, I really wanted to give you a chance, but I, I think we're going with uh, with with a uh, Butner head. Buckner head. Is it? I overthink simple decisions, uh, such as. <laughs> well, but then I underthink major decisions. Right. Why are you wearing three layers? To be visible. <laughs> you, you That's would... about the size of it. Okay. Is that? Are you? Can I ask you? Larry, something? real talk. Did you come up with just that's about the Thank size you. of it right off the cuff? Yeah. Well, I steal from the lost and found. Right. And I saw a wallet with that in it. Ah, that's about the. It seems to me this like this guy is gold. He's just trying to start his own catchphrase. I feel like that's about the size there of it. There you go. All right, ah, get well, her done. That's about the size of Gum Friday bonus content. We got to go. Morning is next. And, I hired uh, a sitter to keep my house plants company. No, you didn't. Are you talking about You're the? You're a liar. Are you talking about the bee? Yeah, he gets lonely sometimes. <laughs> I feel like this guy's a treasure trove. And we have, uh, we just tapped the surface. Yes, there's so much more. Maybe, maybe you'll call in. Maybe he called in earlier this week. Who fucking knows? But we gotta let you go, Larry. Larry it's time for morning. Guy. I dress up to take out the trash. Bye, Larry. <laughs> I wear the same accessories or items of clothing every day. <laughs> what are you doing? I always have dirt under my fingernails. And I worked as a dog trainer, but I dream about being a horse trainer. Larry. <laughs> After I retired from the priesthood. Larry, here's what I want you, you to do. You got two new regulars in one show. Congrats, you. buddy. I, want you to go I to dream of opening a cat cafe one day. <laughs> what are you doing, Larry? I study ballet to become a better football player. Uh, I heard 
Larry's got a lot going on. That Dave guy was boring. No, no. See, Larry is so interesting. He's so intricate. He's got so many details to his life. I You're not even got, asking him about I, any of these. I just got into competitive bird watching. Tell me about competitive <laughs> bird watching. Well, we watch birds. He's and like a renaissance man. Compete. All right, well, it's, we got to go. It's noon. We got to go. You don't want to know about the shoe store I run with my wife, but I worry about that it's ruining my marriage. <laughs> You're married? Yeah. Now, why wouldn't you tell us a cute story that, like, about your wife? Like, I don't, think, I don't think our buddy Dave was married. He seemed like a, a violent loner. Oh, she sells timeshares. Do you realize you have not told one story that, that interlocks with the other? And that's about the size of it. All right. <laughs> All right, Larry, can you, can you, can you do uh, 2.45 to 3? I became a runner just for the solitude. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. He's just an interesting guy. He's, he's got a lot going on. Look, I'm calling... Sorry, I have impossible standards. All right, I'm calling Buchner head back, okay? We got to clean up. We're leaving. We're leaving. Bye. That's about the size of it. That's about the size of it. And that's about the size of bonus content for Gum Friday. Ah, be sure to tune in next week and see what wacky adventures the bowling ball janitor and fucking the toll booth collector will get themselves into. Maybe he'll spill that paint. Maybe he'll break that 20. Wow. <laughs> right. Cut it out, cancer! <laughs>